Welcome to today's uh, video on our YouTube channel. This is Optics Rate Debates. My name is Theodor. I'm in Rush. And we received a couple of questions regarding what are the differences between GeoVid R and GeoVid HDR. So we have uh, general videos about each of these series. We also have a general video about Leica range finding binoculars. And this will be just a short explanation what are the differences between the GeoVid R series and the, the GeoVid HDR series. So, Andras, if you look at these binoculars, the GeoVid R, they originate from where? They originate from the year 1992 when the first uh, Leica's range finding binoculars were introduced to the civil market. So it all began in 1992. Not in this form. In this, in form, this the... one, they started in 2005. So in 2005, the same binoculars were already introduced. Yes. Uh, they were called simply GeoVid. Uh, and then in 2009, Nine, yeah. they received an upgrade. Yeah, the HD. Um, but the, the upgrade was only connected to the optics. Not uh, They were only still capable of measuring the linear distance only mm -hmm. without the equivalent horizontal range. So basically it was like this. In 2005, it came the GeoVid in this form. Then in 2009, they got the better lenses and they were called the GeoVid HD. That's and now right. in 2016, it's the GeoVid R, which also measures the angle and equivalent horizontal range. Yeah, and this was a, quite a big step up for this mm -hmm. series. So I know that in the meantime, they already had this in HD minus R in this form, but it was only a short period before the R came out, I think one year or something like that. So in 2016, we have the current model, uh, GeoVid R. It measures out to 1,100 meters, uh, and it's made in Portugal, like all Leica range-finding products. What are the differences? What are the basics of the HDR? So the HDR was first introduced to the market in 2015, yeah. but this shape was already known to us from HDV that was first introduced mm -hmm. in 2013. So the shape that they this shape was first introduced in 2013 with the HDV, but the HDR models in 2015. So if we look from function wise, they are really almost identical. They measure the distance and they measure the equivalent horizontal range, the HDR and the R. What about the prisms? I see that the yes. form factor is completely different. That's because Leica used their unique target poro prisms with the HDR, mm -hmm. which uh, the outcome of the use of these prisms is of course this bent shape, which adds to the ergonomics, and of course the improved highlight transmission rate of over 90%. And also, so, I would say also the field of view is bigger. The field of view is also on the, yeah. So the main difference is the prism and the these are open bridge design and these are mono bridge design. And this feature a really classic uh, standard shape of a binocular. So really the, mm -hmm. the more of one of all type I would say. This okay so we established the first difference the prism. This is the first difference. Then the measuring range this one, the, uh, the GeoVid R, they measure up to 1,100 meters. Somewhere, and this HDR, which is the 2018 model, so the 2,700 model, yeah. measures up to 2,700 yards, which is roughly 2,500 meters. So two times more. At two least two times more. more yeah. But this, uh, the equivalent horizontal range can only be measured to somewhere around 1,100 meters. Which so is basically the same like this. Basically um, the same. So equivalent horizontal range is measured to the same distance, so not measured, calculated to the same distance, uh, while the actual linear measurements is almost two times bigger on the HDR. I see that the difference is also in the eyepieces. In the eyepieces, yeah. So the these are more newer, uh, newer and nicer. can be fixed in many more positions. I think. Mm -hmm. if we look at the, yeah, yeah. This, these ones are also um, can be fixed in more, more positions. Mm -hmm. And the difference is also that, uh, uh, well, not the difference, what is the same is that the, the opter setting is the same on both eyes, on both models. So with, with the white, uh, the, the opter setting with the white line, you set the opter cor correctly for the image. And here where you have the red line, you set the, the opter correctly to this to read the display. So inside. for the radical, we could yeah, say. For the radical, yeah. Yeah, for the display. Uh, I can I know about the other distance, which is the aquadura coating, which is mm -hmm. only found on the HDR models and not on the classic R models. So the okay. aquadura coating is like a premium coating, which 
is applied to the external parts of lenses to repel dirt, to repel water, and so on. Okay, and all, what about the high durable coating I think for the, the external lenses? It's on, you can find them on both, I think. Or I'm not completely sure about that, but I'm about 80% that it can be found on both models. Okay, so the difference is the prism, the range, and the aquadura coating. And normally, because of the prisms, also the optical performance is better on the on the HDR. And consequently, because of all this, the price is of course also different. Yeah, the price goes uh, on on the on the R model, so it goes from 1,800, 1,850 right. for the 8 by 42, all the way to 2,550 for the 15 by 56. So you have four models in the G8 R uh, line. 8x42, 10x42, 8x56 and 15x56. With the HDR you only have three models. 8x42, 10x42 and um, 8x56. 8x56. And this is another difference because in, H in Geovit R you can find the, the 15x56 yeah, 56, which yeah. is a very unique model. Yeah. I don't think that anyone else today is making mm, a similar no, model. No, they are the only ones making a range finding binoculars with 15 times magnification and 56 uh, meter, millimeter objective lens. Normally, that model is mostly used on tripods. Uh, the price wise, uh, the HDR 2700, they start at 2550. So they start to where the Jewit Air and, ends, yeah. and they go up all the way to 2900 for the 8 by 56. 56. We did forgot that with uh, with the HDR they had uh, the first uh, the first I would say incarnation of this series was in 2015 we said and it had an uh, acronym in the name type type 402 for the 8 by 42 type 403 for the 10 by 42 and type 500 for the 8 by 56 in 2018 they changed this and they went to 2700. I think it's nice that they ditched this name because it's a little bit confusing. It's, confusing it's a little bit more large with the type, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they just increased the range. Everything else stayed more or less the same. Another difference: can the Jewit R measure temperature and uh, air pressure? It's not um, capable of doing that. Only the HDR has the temperature sensor, the barometric sensor, and uh, you can read the what it is measuring. Yeah? That's you can right. read and you can apply it to your ballistic calculation. It will not be applied automatically, you have to then no. apply it yourself. Uh, no, the, there is no ballistic calculator in neither of these two. A series only equivalent horizontal range. But the HDR gives you the reading. What is the temperature? What is the, what is the uh, air pressure? And you can use them on your phone and in a ballistic app or something like that. While both of these two give you also the reading of the angle and the equivalent horizontal range. They're both made in Portugal, we said, five years warranty. Both can come with very identical accessories. Yeah, the carrying strap, the bag, uh, the manual, the warranty card, the certificate that the product was tested, the rain guards, the tool to remove the batteries. Yeah, the battery, the battery compartment is underneath here. So yeah, and here on this side, the battery compartment is not completely in the same position on the R and but you do yeah. have to be op uh, careful when opening this cover that you use this tool which is made from plastic mm. it will not uh, leave okay. any scratches on the surface um, using a coin is really not that it's not smart, not smart. <laughs> you, you will leave scratches and yeah. um, so basically this is an entry level range finding binoculars where you get decent quality for a really affordable price. These are, these are the cheapest Leica range finding binoculars yeah. available. And there, if you look price wise, even when you compare it with Chinese products of this type, uh, they're not that far they're apart. Not yeah. that far apart, but here you get much better quality. For now, the, the Chinese range finding binoculars are priced around 1,500 euros, Something somewhere like around there. And this is 1,850. And, and you, you buy a product from Leica. Yeah, so. and with a Leica optical quad, it's still so much higher. With an HDR, I think this is the best buy you can buy because, okay, you get two additional functions with the HDB, but for a price of increase of 500 euros, something like that. Uh, and most of the people will only need equivalent horizontal range. So this is, this is enough for most hunters, right? So um, on the other side, you get really premium optical performance because of the poor uh, barrier prisms and all other technologies incorporated into this. Um, um, binoculars. So all in all, I hope we covered all the differences. So the prism, the measurement range, the 
what we said the aqua dura the which aqua is dura coatings and so on and the mall range which is a little bit different yeah uh, and normally the price difference so i hope we covered all the differences if you need any additional information please use comments below in the comments section or send us an email and normally please subscribe bye bye